Aaron is a photographer, but I noticed that they have no photographs on their walls. I know, right? Yeah, so this week, I wanted my special project to be a unique way to display all of their beautiful photos. So I thought, being that, you know, the room needs some texture, you know, I wanted to come up with something creative, and I thought, let's use wood. So of course, you're my man. Tell right. me what you've come up with for me. Well, we've got some wood here that we picked up from the craft store. It's got a live edge, and we're gonna put these pictures basically into the wood. So you pick these up at a regular craft store? Just a regular craft store. You can grab these. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, they are nice. Yeah. But you wouldn't think that you could actually put a picture into the wood. But yeah, you can. that's amazing. I want to see it. I think that sounds perfect. All right. So I see we have the photos here that I chose to use, and yeah. you printed them on regular paper? That's just regular old copy paper, 8 by 10. OK. Laser jet printer. Oh, you know I need this. Yeah, An need apron, it. yes. Yeah. OK, let's go ahead and put these on Yeah, now. let's put these on so we can get busy. So, Layla, what we're going to do, we'll open up this matte gel. Which one you want? I'll let you take the big one. I'll take the small one. Thank you. OK. So you're going to dip that in there. We're going to get it on there nice and thick. We'll take the pitcher, put it face down, and then we'll chase out all the bubbles. OK. What that does is it allows the pitcher to kind of soak into the material here, into all the right. wood. We got a good little coating on here. What do you think? I like it, but, but it doesn't matter what I think. You got to show me. Uh, let's, what let's, do you let's think? Do, let's do the kids. OK. OK, let's do the kids. Nice and square as Center. you can. Centered and square on there. OK. And we're just going to chase out the bubbles. So just use your hand and push the bubbles that's, out. That's it. It should be nice and flat, right? Yeah. All right, it's looking good, Layla. Mm -hmm. We can set these aside to dry. Ooh, I can't wait to see yeah. how these turn out. Yeah, me too. The paper has dried thoroughly. We're going to wet okay. this up. And you can either use a sponge or we can use a spray bottle to reveal this masterpiece. All That's right, Layla, good. looks like we got it pretty good. OK. So we'll now start... we're going to start scratching it off? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get in there and. Just use our fingers? Oh, you know what? Here, let's use these rags. OK. Let's work smarter, not harder. It comes off. Oh, yeah. Fairly simple. And you can just apply a little bit more water. Yeah, just keep using water as you go, keep it wet. You know, I asked you to help me with this project, but I'm quite impressed that you came up with this. I've never seen anything like this before. It's really cool. Well, I appreciate that. Layla, thank you. Look how nice this came out. Well, this looks great, Layla. You did a great job. You know what? These have to dry now. They have to get thoroughly dried out in the sun before we can do our last step. OK. This is nice and dry. Now we have to apply some sealer with that foam roller. You want to put on a nice, thin, even coat. When it dries, it'll be transparent. Oh, so you perfect. won't see this white film that's over the top. Oh, OK. All right. I really like the way that these came out. Yeah, I agree. You know, so many people take photos and they leave them on their phones. And they shouldn't do that. They need to print them out. And they can find all sorts of ideas on our Pinterest page. Or they can go to homemadesimple.com. Yeah, get creative with your photo ideas, right? Yep. These are beautiful. I know as soon as Erin walks into her bedroom, these are going to catch her eye. I think they're going to love it. Right on.